I finally bit the bullet and decided to buy another helmet compartment for my um, Honda Dio. This is my old one right here that came with the bike. You can see all the different holes and everything that have been cut in it for the water cooling pipes over here and with a stroker engine it it sits up higher in the block uh, higher about about oh what about an inch higher and therefore it has to have these cutouts here and then I cut out a little spot here for the uh, on and off with the gas switch so I got this and I this this new one just came in and I'm I really got a good deal on it it's um, not brand new but it's in good shape my other one the two bolts right here broke off and that's what it looks like underneath where they where they fit and this one has two really nice ones this is where the seat connects so it's really important to have a good connection right there and this one's in really good shape I've decided that that I'm gonna have to start buying new plastics for the bike now the one thing I did find out is I went to bikebandit.com I looked through all the years of the bike and I, I know that from 1993 until the year 2000 they basically used the same parts they just called them different numbers so they didn't have an under seat department or compartment for 1994 so I said fine I'll get one for um, the year 2000 all the rest of the years it says they don't sell them anymore so I go and I I put the money down and I get an email it says so oh, well sorry we've checked with the manufacturer and they don't make that anymore so I'm realizing now that they're phasing out the Honda Dio body parts so I have to either buy them new right now while I can or try and get them on eBay and eBay for some re weird reason is certain parts will come up for sale now and then and certain parts will never come up for sale I don't know why but I got this at a good good price free shipping I'll have to cut out the special spots for things in here I really don't want to cut anything out but you have to with the stroker engine you have to because we'll go over here and look at the engine here the engine sits up higher which means the spark plug sits up higher it means your um, your plumbing water cooled parts like this right here and I know this kind of looks Mickey Mouse and if you you know you're not from America if if you hear the word Mickey Mouse it means that it's done it means that you've spent a little tiny bit of time making it right but mostly it's an embarrassment it's a slapdash really fast crappy job and when I say bit the bullet what that means is that it's like these panels here these two panels here are $190 brand new I just think it's it's way too much money but like I said I finally bit the bullet and decided I needed to go buy them while they're still available so I did I bought two new panels which I could get um, I bought these these would never come up on eBay ever these are the um, side skirts I don't know why they just never do and they're um, $85 a piece then I go to find out that they don't make the box for or they make the box right here which goes down to about right there for the bike but they don't make the footrest which goes from here all the way to the back they don't make the footrest anymore at all so I'm going I'm going you know what am I gonna do and I've been looking for this part right here this inner fender which goes on the bottom here and it's basically you can see where the, it's got holes and vents and things in it but mine has been taken off and 
put on so many times that I've broken the um, the fitting on it. So I went to find one of those. They don't make those anymore. So then I went out and I spent $26 on a brand new one of these. And when I go to repaint the bike, whenever I go to do it, at least I'll have this new top panel and the side panels. And the, the, the top panel right here, the one thing that really bothers me about this old one is that there are small holes right in staggered along on underneath this uh, black panel. Correspondingly, there are little tiny nibs that stick down from the blue panel, which go in those holes and hold the, uh, the hold them together, which is kind of cool. You, you basically um, you put you tuck them in and put them in the nubs, and then when you tighten down here, the front pulls back and it holds it. Well, when you're driving you tend to see this little gap right here or if there's a gap you see that and it's kind of annoying so all of my nubs are off they're they're gone on off this uh, 20 year old panel so I just decided to buy a new one and I'm sure that there'll be other parts that I'm gonna try and buy that just they won't make them anymore I have an extra front panel and they are very expensive I bought one real cheap uh, years ago and I kept it and as you can see I've, I've put on my little spike nuts right here I got five of them off of eBay and you want to use the these special washers they have they're really thick and they're just made for I'm holding these down but the thing I don't really like about the panels that are getting old is that the front panel right here fits perfect it's that the the box right around here is shrunk this part and you can see where it's shrunk here it shrunk right down here and the lower fender which is right here and goes down to here and all the way around that shrunk too just it shrunk with age I mean for having a bike this long and having the parts last as long as they have I'm really pretty blessed you know as far as that goes but as far as spare parts I used to be able to go on eBay and find you know someone would throw you a whole box of parts which may cost three or four hundred dollars if you bought them brand new and you could get them for twenty five dollars but not anymore no 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 so that's where I'm at right now I haven't tightened up the the pipe yet I need to get my um, under seat the the dealy in here before I do that. 